Hey guys, good morning. Uncle Joe here. Morning coffee. All right, so Paul asked me to do a thumbnail for him, and like uh, I came up with this thing, just him freaking out and like the zombie apocalypse and whatnot. And, you know, he has a video about his solar panels and other stuff. So if I move this, I can see for the most part, every time I do 3D, um, I do everything in After Effects and when in regards to like 3D stuff, right? Because it just it's just easier, it's faster for me, and like that's mainly why I love Element 3D so much because it's speed, speed wise, just it's way, way, way faster than like working with like Blender or all this stuff. I mean, I love Blender now. You know, before I was really into Cinema 4D, but you know, Blender is definitely the way to go uh, for you know small content creators, in my opinion. All right, so on to the point of this video. Um, I came across a situation where like the textures were not being imported inside of Element 3D. I mean, the animation was there and the model was there, but like none of the textures were imported into Element 3D. They were just blank, right? All right, so as you can see, here, we have the animation, right? But we don't have any textures, right? So here's the solution. To solve this issue is basically you want to type in FBX co converter on your Google or whatever web browser you're using, right? So type in FBX converter and then pretty much you should get something that is from Autodesk. Uh, it turns out that FBX, uh, the file itself, is owned or was created by Autodesk. Uh, the same guys that use, that create Maya. Obviously, I'll have a link in the description for this, but uh, it should be like the first, you know, search, the first result that you get on your um and your search results. From what I can see at the moment, like they have an FBX version that's from 2013 and I guess that's all you need. Uh, that I know of, there's nothing new. If there is, let me know, right? But what I did is I just went down here to like the most recent, which is uh, FBX 2013, you know, the converter has 64 bit. I already have it, so I'm not gonna go through that process of installing it, it's no big deal. You know, just typical executable file, you download it and all that stuff. So when you open it, it's kind of weird because there's like a window inside of a window. You, know, you got this window and this is you have another window, which is kind of weird. So you can in increase this guy and then like inside of that window, you can increase this guy. So it's important to like have your FBX file that you download from Mixamo in its own specific folder, right? Because what's going to happen is when I click and drag the uh, my FBX folder here and where it says source file, pretty much it's going to have a destination location and it's going to use the same location where the FBX file is from, just to keep things simple, right? That way you don't have to worry about changing the destination and whatnot. It's all stayed in the same little area. So this area, you don't have to do much. It pretty much already knows what it is. It's an FBX, you know, file format. And right here, where it says destination format, you want to click on that. And for me at the moment, I hit OBJ, right? So we want that. I don't need any of this stuff, so I deselected it, right? So we just wanted to create an OBJ, like, format. So I hit convert. And as you can see here, it instantly created like a bunch of other files, right? So let's see what we got. So this is why, you know, it's important that like we have the FBX file in its own folder because if I was to do this, uh, if I was to click and drag the FBX file from the download section, it's going to create all these file, all these extra files inside the download folder that I have, you know, set up for my web browser, right? And the cool thing is now we have like the diffusion, right? As you can see, it broke apart like the model and it created like the scans that like separated and all this stuff, right? It made like a UV map. It also created like a bum mat and a specular along with a diffuse and that just, that is so fucking cool, right? And using this converter, right? So it did that all for us. That's the only thing we need the FBX converter for so we can like get out of here. Using the same FBX file, this thing got modified or whatever it did, like the, I don't know exactly what it does, but pretty much now if we open this uh, file, pretty much all the, the materials and all that is going to be linked up to this FBX file. So it's going to pretty much import into Element 3D, right? So now. I'm gonna create a new new Blender project. Yeah, I'm gonna hit X, get rid of this guy. Gonna go to File, gonna go to File, Import, FBX. Gonna go to my desktop. I'm gonna go back to my FBX texture tutorial folder that I created. And then we're gonna go to the FBX zombie folder that we have set up there. Animation offset is at one, we don't want that. Go to zero. I'm sure there's a preset or something you can do in the preferences for Blender, but for this tutorial, since this is the default, I left it like that just to show you guys what to do. Uh, we do not want an animation offset, so I'll put that down to zero. I hit import. And again, as you can see, we got to set this up. Start frame at zero. The end frame is 183. Hit enter. Again, I'm pretty sure we could change some settings so I can start at frame zero, but... For this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave everything at default. So it doesn't seem like there's nothing happened, right? Like there's no materials whatsoever, right? So like it looks like it's still like, you know, just a blank uh, textured object here. So since if you're a Blender guy, then maybe you know what to do with like the diffuse and specular, you know, textures that I created for you. So you can mess with that. But since I'm working with Element 3D, this is uh, what works for me for, you know, this is my workflow to work with Element 3D. So we imported it here. We now we're gonna go to file, go to export, gonna go to Wavefront OBJ. 
Then I go to my desktop, select my project, the FBX Teacher Tutorial folder that I created. I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this zombie underscore zero one. Just a new one, that's a new one. Double click on that, name this zombie texture. So again, we're gonna go down here to the bottom right. Make sure the scale is high. We're gonna go to 50 and also click on animation right that way it exports all the lbj's that's in the timeline so hit export obj might take a while good time for coffee to wait for this shit to be done all right so as usual when it goes back to this um scene that means blender's done exporting we want to minimize that go back to after effects select our lmf3d layer go to scene setup so we're going to delete this guy because uh, you know the one that has no texture so we're going to go to file import Import 3D sequence. So now we're gonna go to like our zombie underscore zero one. That's a new folder I created with a new OBJ sequence. Click on the first one, hit open. Everything should be okay. And boom. Make sure make sure the alignment is at the bottom of the model. It just it's easier, right? Because the bottom is where the floor is gonna be, so it makes life easier. Now, this is probably like the coolest thing about using the FBX converter, and I got super happy when I uh, discovered this. Usually when I mess around with like Cinema 4D or with Blender and I had to export like a model, I, I lose a lot of detail, right? However, using this converter for, it's again, I'm not exactly sure why, but a lot of detail got retained and it looks great, you know? And I was like happy, I was like, cool. It looks really, really good, right? Now, if we click on our parasite material here, as you can see, there's a normal bump. It's uh, it's missing. It's red. So pretty much what we can do is, because with the converter, it created like the this folder with all these other materials. You know, you got your specular, you got your your bump and your diffusion. You could just click and drag the specular onto this, and pretty much you know now you got a bump, right? And that looks so fucking badass. Now it's glossy, so there's some work to do. You know, you can actually go to like the glossiness over here and reduce it, so it doesn't look as bad. But I mean, look at that. You know, you got a bump now. You got the textures. It is not blocky. The teeth look great. And you know, before this was bad when I was doing it from like uh, exporting it from like Cinema 4D or from Blender. You know, but whatever. Like there's some a lot of texture got lost, but using that converter it just retains a lot of detail and i'm just so happy right uh, to discover this right so hit okay so now if i hit play that's basically it and i'm just like it's fucking badass right you know like so if you have this problem with like you know importing uh make some more uh, fbx you know files um uh, into blender or you know you went through like the process of creating an obj sequence and like you were losing on like your textures you know that's what you do you just download that fbx converter and as you can see it works right and like the quality is just Awesome. So, yeah, when I discovered this, I was like, ah, you're fucking kicking, punching shit because I got happy. I was like, good, you know. So, uh, by doing this, basically, I was able to do something cool. And as you can see, pretty much, you know, I, I downloaded some other, like, zombies that I got, you know, for Paul. I mean, created my scene and all that and because the details are nice. It doesn't look blocky as shit. It looks pretty fucking good, right? Yeah, maybe it's not, like, Marvel quality but you know i got my quality so fuck it <laughs> i'm happy with it so yeah all right so that's basically it you know i hope it helps you know if uh, this video has helped you out in any manner i'll be more than happy if you uh treat me to a coffee if i helped you out in any manner right or safety time or you know safety any headaches and shit like that right subscribe for more videos um i'm always learning new shit so i'll be making more videos like this if you have any questions feel free to send me questions and i'll get back to you when i can and all this stuff right so that's it hope it helps take care and peace